hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to build one data pipeline using a aws glue so we have one of the requirements so let us try to understand the requirement first so i have one of the s3 bucket in that s3 bucket i have a two file one is a department file and another is a employee file now what actually i have to do these two file are in the csv file so what i have to do i have to merge both the file and after that I had to clean the file and finally I had to store into the target in a JSON file so from a CSV first I had to merge this two file and after that I had to clean also and finally I had to store in another S3 bucket in a JSON file from CSV to the JSON I had to convert but before that I had to join this two file also so let me show you the file first so this is the employee file I have I have an employee ID name salary location and all and also I have another file that is a department and designation related details so if we will merge these two files so finally we should have employee ID name salary address and also their department related details also we should have so that is the output we want so for that we should build a pipeline so let me open first let me show you the Amazon S3 bucket so I have a two bucket as of now one is the input bucket in this input bucket I have a two file a department and a CSV file and uh, output is where actually we will try to save in a JSON file so for creating a pipeline we will try to create a AWS glue so we will search for the AWS glue open in a new tab we are going to create a pipeline so in the left side click here click on the ETL jobs click on the visual ETL click on the Amazon S3 this is our source, source is S3 right so we will select that and first we will try to select the source location so S3 location let me select the source file so this is my employee CSV is my first file so I'll select that format is CSV so I'll select that and it is showing like first row contain the header so that I have already selected now if you want to preview so for that you should first create a IM role so we'll create a IM role click on the create IM role we are going to create a IM role where we will assign a S3 policy and also a glue policy so let me give the click on the create role what is the use case use case is uh, glue so we'll select the glue click on the next permission we will attach first is the s3 full access and the second one which we will assign as a glue service role search for the glue aws glue service role you can see aws glue service role so this one we will assign click on the next role name you can give glue practical 3 something any name you can give and click on the create role so you can see a, a policy we have assigned s3 pool access and aws glue service role and uh, this is how role got created so what we will do we will go to the our pipeline if you want to use that im role which you have created you have to go into the job details and I am role right this is the I am role refresh it and select that so once you will select right go to the visual now you can see data preview is started now you will be able to preview your data so preview means debugging like uh, whatever the activity you are doing first preview so that you will get idea like whether it's working fine or not now you can see we are able to preview our employee data we have an employee ID, name, salary, address, location and email means uh, our source is now ready first source is ready because we have a two file right so another source we have to enter click on the add notes click on the Amazon S3 so this is another Amazon S3 and here also we will try to assign a location so first search for the file so our second file is the department so I will select the department file select that data format is CSV so we will select that and after that our second source is also ready okay we can see user department and the designation 
so our two file is now ready now what we will do we will try to merge these two file okay so if i will show you in a employee table we have employee id department table we have a user column we can join these two based on the user and the employee id column so first i will select the first s3 click on the plus go to the transform click on the join we are applying a joining but you can see this are only pointing to the one amazon s3 right we have to select both so go to the node parents and select the both s3 now you can see these two are configured but we have to apply a condition based on what actually you want to join so i want to join based on the employee id and the second user id column so this is what i want to join now let's try to preview our data whether it's working fine or not we should be able to see all the department related details also and we are able to see name salary email and the, all the designation and address we also we are able to see means department related data also we can see and the user related data also we are able to see now now you can see there are a few column like the loc or or email column this is not important but this is also there but we we should clean this data so how actually we can clean this data so for that also we'll apply a transformation click on the plus and we'll click on the drop field so which particular field actually we want you want to drop so select that i want to drop loc field and i also want to drop a email field so this two field i don't want so that's why i have selected that now you can see we have a designation address employee id user department name and the salary only the relevant column which we require that is available here means our drop field also is working fine and let me finally save into the target so to save into the target what we have to do go to the target on which particular place we want to save i want to save in amazon s3 so i will select that so this is the amazon s3 on which particular format you want to save i want to save in a json format so i will select that where you want to save the target location we have to give so output is the target location so i will select that okay now our pipeline is ready you can see we have a two file we are joining we are uh, cleaning the data and we are finally storing into the final location now if you want to save as a job so we'll give a blue job or any name you can give okay go to the script now when you will save right this will save in a multiple partition so if you want to save in a only one partition what you have to do click on the edit script confirm go down so what you have to write this particular node right drop field uh, node we are writing one PySpark function equal to the drop field dot repartition one dot repartition one repartition so so in this case only in one partition it will be saved so before the target whatever the script node will be there right that actually you can repartition into the particular uh, way like only one partition i want so that's why repartition one i have done now click on the save now after that what we will do we'll go to the job details and here we here we will set i am role we have already set up and the worker type we will select only the two and uh, after that we'll click on the save go to the run and after that we can run this job once it will successful then it should save the data in a json file and after merging only it should save the data now you can see it is succeed now so i'll go to the s3 and i will open the output bucket and i will refresh this now you can see this is the file which got saved and it got saved in a snappy means actually we have done one mistake so what we have done we'll go to the script so come to the script you can see in a compression it is snappy right so we can remove this snappy because we don't want any compression and finally you can save this so that it will not compress your data 
and go to the run again you can run now it should save your data in a normal json file otherwise it will save your data after compressing it okay so that is the thing you have to remember you can see it is now succeed so i'll go to the output bucket again i will refresh now you can see it got shared without snappy i'll click here click on the download once it will download you can open that so i will save this first go to the download let's try to open this notepad so you can see in a json file it got, it saved all the data like address department and username salary all the information we have 